It is early morning and it's a, I'm in a beautiful estate where I will be having a conversation with a renowned author called Baptiste de Pape. He wrote a book and also made a movie called The Power of the Heart, where he interviewed many people like uh, Paolo Coelho, um, Oprah Winfrey, um, Eckhart Tolle and a few other great uh, minds, wonderful people. And the book was very successful. And we met uh, at a place where we both had an interview and he was keen to do, an, uh, to do a conversation with me, which we'll be doing here. You can see a little bit of the estate in the back. I'll show you around a little bit later as well. And it is promising to be a very interesting conversation. And I'll give you a little bit of a glimpse behind the scenes as well. And here this is the place as you can see it's beautiful it's quite big and there's a beautiful courtyard here that is well maintained and let us go and explore a little As you can see, this is a beautiful estate. So a few people are living here, but it's really pretty. There are huge apple trees. Pears, yeah, these are pears. This is the place and inside we're going to have a conversation later there will be an audience as well and it will be recorded so I will also share the link of the conversation whenever it has been edited and uploaded. And yeah, yeah, no, I love these movies, but this was a little later, end of high school, and I had already started doing some meditation, yeah. breathing techniques, all of that. So right now I just arrived at the artist area for today's conference, the Love Tomorrow conference, and uh, this is all part of the Tomorrowland uh, landscape. So I'll give you a glimpse of my program here and. Uh, my exploring this part. You see some of the images that capture scenes of Tomorrowland. This is the entrance. I just found out there's a really nice surprise. We will be driven to the stage in the first solar powered car that has got a license plate that is licensed to drive on the road. It's called Lightyear Zero. Um, produced by a Dutch startup company. So it's the first fully solar powered car that is legally allowed to drive on the road. And uh, let's see what it's like. So this is the light here, the first solar powered car with a license plate. We'll be driving in this also a little bit later. It's a lot of solar panels all over the car. But as you can see, it looks amazing. Side and my brother is going to drive us. So he's super excited. He's ready. Ja, ik ga hier zitten. Durf je het aan dat ik. Uh, ja, ik 
Die kans die laat ik niet. Uh... So my brother is going to be driving. Yes. En nu kun je voet het gaspedaal zetten voorzichtig en gaan rollen. Ik ga wel eventjes een generator verbreking aanzetten. Dan hoef je zelf eigenlijk geen rem te gebruiken. Dan remt de auto vanzelf af. Als okay, je gas loslaat gaat hij zelf een beetje rustig. Inderdaad. Rustigen. En daardoor wint die energie terug. We gaan het daar zien. We gaan linksaf. Ja. Dus jij je ja. kunt eventjes voelen als je wat er ja. gebeurt ook op snelheid als je het gas ja. loslaat. Ja, ja. Um, maar over dit prototype hebben we ongeveer een week of acht uh, gebouwd, maar het bedrijf uh, bestaat vanaf... Dit uh... so is de Freedom Stage, ik zal je de inside later zien. Maar zoals je kunt zien, dit is geweldig. Dit is allemaal deel van Tomorrowland, dat is weer morgen weer beginnen. Er zijn meer dan 10 stages. En ze verwachten rond 600.000 of 700.000 bezoekers voor het festival. This is the freedom stage of Tomorrowland, where the Love Tomorrow conference is happening, going to happen, it's going to start soon. This is where I will also be speaking today. I'm so happy to see you, I'm so happy to see you, and you have no idea how honored I am to be hosting this very first edition of the Love Tomorrow conference. Yes, it's going to be really It allows us to be much more effective. We are more healthy, it improves our immunity. Our perception, observation, expression, communication, everything improves. Because if you notice, when we don't feel good, when you are stressed, when you are anxious, when you are frustrated, when you feel our empathy goes down. And we see this in society today. When people are stressed, they are less bothered. And what is the need of the hour now is that we allow people to reconnect with that inner world, explore it, give us practical tools to regain our inner peace, our balance, that inner synergy and harmony, so that we are not just more effective, but we become better human beings as well. 